Welcome, 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 beautiful Paris Saint Germain family. Uh, since I've been making the thumbnail for this video and preparing everything, I've seen some disgusting stuff. And you know, it just takes away from this beautiful victory. And it's this fucking disgusting rat. This absolute disgusting being of a fucking rat. I'm not even calling him a human because he's not human. He's a fucking animal. He's an animal. Let me, let me show you guys. Wait. <laughs> nah, his job, his job, Ruby. Beautiful, beautiful. Donna ninety nine. <laughs> Oh, so in the squad, uh, precautions. So the first thing here is Luis Enrique. And uh, I'm gonna tell you one thing. This is my fucking manager. Um, interviewer. And Bapa seemed a bit disappointed after being subbed off. Luis Enrique. It's the same music every single week. The same music. It's so boring. I am the coach. I make the decisions every day, every week. I'm going to do the same until my last day in Paris. I always try to find the best solution for my team. We understand your decision to sub off Mbappe tonight. Even if you don't understand it, I don't care. I don't care at all. Smiles. This is my fucking manager. This is my fucking manager. And then, it's this fucking shit. Where is it? It's this. He posts a fucking sword on Instagram, pipes the armband in his hand, looking sad. No, no fucking, um, no, no description. We didn't lose the game. If we lost the game, okay, you can do that. We fucking beat Marseille at the bullet home. What are you doing? What are you doing, you fucking disgusting rat? Fuck, man. Get the fuck out of my club. He's so filthy. So filthy, man. You say he called Enrique a puta? Well, I gotta find that. I gotta find something about that. I haven't seen anything about that. <laughs> oh my, yo, 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 yo. Arrest this guy. So here's a video where he's saying, he drew the puta, which means like son of a bitch or something. What a fucking rat. What a fucking rat. Oh my god. He's so disgusting, man. Fuck. Fuck. Master La Ugarte, A duels one. Now look, I'm so happy with some certain players, like the players that came off the bench, all of them had an impact. Ugarte being one of them. Absolutely beautiful. So filthy, man. Oh. And even, even, even the biggest rats out of them all, Fabrizio Romano, who is a news reporter, puts this on his fucking Twitter. And Papa, not happy with the change. Who gives a fuck? Why are you posting this? Why are you posting this? Why is Fabrizio posting this? I don't want to victimize the PSG club, the PSG fan base, but this is an agenda against Paris Saint Germain. Why the fuck are you posting this? Oh, back to the normal stuff. Yes, sir, Kingsley. We're both winning. <laughs> We're both winning in the Champions League as well. Look, I, I've said Dona is the best goalkeeper in the world since maybe like November. 
He's insane. I'm going to show you the stats of Donnarumma. Look at this stat right here. Gianluigi Donnarumma has the highest side percentage, the highest pass accuracy. Not that impressive because he only takes, you know, easy passes. And then the most prevented goals per 90. My fucking goalkeeper. My goalkeeper. Oof. Gianluigi Donnarumma. There he is. You want to be top right. That's the best place to be in. Mm. He's filthy good, man. Yes, sir. Welcome. We cooked. It, it, it's kind of, no, it's all about interaction, Patrick. He wants those because he gets millions of interactions talking about killing Mbappé. It's, it's just filthy, man. He's a grown ass man. He's doing this shit. Apology. Look, I would apologize. <laughs> I would say, I would go against what I've said when Gonzalo does something. Scoring a goal and now doesn't mean anything. It changed my mind. Uh, but yeah, look, Colo absolutely stinky. He was a good, you know, outlet for like one, two chances. What the fuck? Uh, but no. Man, this Gonzalo go call or debate, man. I hate it so much, man. I hate it so much. But David, Lucha has to pick one. It's gonna be interesting who he starts versus Stade Rennes. Because I think who starts, whoever starts that game is gonna be the starter versus Barca. But now Lucha um Gonzalo had good link up with Hakimi towards the end. Yeah, I've seen it. Absolutely disgusting. This minute per goal ratio now, Bappe, in the fewest minutes. Dub, I love that finish so much, man. Mm. And David, I mean, you, I don't, you didn't watch the game. Ugarte had a good uh, sub two performance as well. The Roma's performance might help us win Champions League go one hundred percent. <laughs> oh, oh, Gonzalo against Barca? Oh, I'll be there. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> no FB, I didn't. But I heard a lot about it. A lot of people talk to me about it. But no, I didn't watch that. Yes, sir. Oh, we'll be there. Mm? <laughs> Boss is going to win, mate. <laughs> what? <laughs> but, but pseudo. Like, if you were here for the preview yesterday, I, I, I looked at, like, their goal scoring in their past games. Like, they, they didn't score against Brest, they didn't score against Lyon, and they didn't score against Stade de They're just extremely bad at goal scoring against good teams. They're just shit offensively. Uh, Jules Kund. Paris Magic. Yes, sir, Tansa. Welcome, Max. Mbappe and get Lucci. Look, Mbappe, once again, he's selfish. He's extremely selfish. He's just, he just wants to make everything about him. PSG won 2 0 against Marseille with a red card in the 35th minute. No, 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 no. Let's make the game about Mbappe being subbed off early because that's more important. Yo, you know what? I haven't seen a single tweet about it. 
Man, I need my main account back, man. But w w when I saw that Gonzalo shit, like I knew Gonzalo, like has been watching some something PSG related. Because this is the vibes I got from it. This celebration uh, from Julian Draxler. He did it at the Velodrome as well. That absolutely love it, man. No, no, yeah, I mean, his first game back, I wouldn't have played him. I don't know why Lucha put him on, uh, but am I worried about a screener? No, no. Just like, that was a bit. Yeah. Oh, we'll be there. Yeah. Is that the... Uh... <laughs> well, they're in for a big surprise. See Campo shouting at the ref at half town because we're going to murder him. No, I've not seen it, but he's props to Campos, man. My sporting director. You know when Bob attacked to get the ball back, he knows he's in danger with Lucho, but he still got some. That's why he's mad. <laughs> yeah, Tulsa, he tried to make that tackle to be like, Lo, Lo, Lucho, get me on. Lucho got him on a leech, Tulsa. He got him on a fucking leech. <sighs> Facts. Yeah, so unnecessary. So unnecessary. Yeah. No, 100%. Everything since he made the decision, Paris Saint-Germain told Lucho, you can do whatever with him. He's a player like everybody else. He's no nothing special. Special, he's special ability-wise on the pitch, but personality, no. Oh. <laughs> so with Mbappé today, I had two switches where he could have passed to the ability during content, the ability to square it back to him. Um, I think he wanted to be, you know, the extra hero of Fega. I think Mbappe wanted to be the player that picks up the ball deep, goes past two, three players and scores an amazing goal. Like a bit selfish. Mbappe is a great player. Mbappe can do those kind of stuff, but he felt like he was forcing it a bit. That just means he wasn't mentally good. That's uh, what well, I got to say. Wait, Icardi did it as well? Yeah, I think Icardi did both hands. Let me see. Man, we fucking own Marseille. <laughs> And he did the badge as well. Nah, Gonzalo wants to stay, man. Yeah, this game, he probably want to go near the Duggars. <laughs> Danilo? It was like one or two, and then like from him, but apart from that, especially in a game where, you know, Marseille just kept on spamming crosses and everything, this was a game where we needed, you know, Danilo with those 10 plus recoveries and five plus aerial duels. Let us actually look at uh, the ratings and everything from the game. Yeah, I mean, that is why he's one of the top assistants in Europe. Dawson. Okay, cool. Yo, yo. What's good, G? Have you seen what we've been posting to the group chat? Oh, not really, no. All right, let me show you then. So the first thing, uh, Luis Enrique was asked, guess about what, Tosin? What was the first question Luis Enrique receives after beating Marseille 2-0 at the Velodrome? I would assume you know, probably flat, something in relation to Mbappe being taken off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mbappe seemed a bit disappointed after being subbed off. Luis Enrique. It's the same music every single week. The same music. It's so boring. I am the coach. I make the decisions every day, every week. I'm going to do the same until my last day in Paris. I always try to find the best solution for my team. And then they say, we understand your decision to sub off Mbappe tonight. And he says, even if you don't understand it, I don't care. I don't care at all. Smiles. We're not anymore. I'm next week. Like, he got Mbappe on a lead chosen. That was an angle. Because here he's publicly saying, Mbappe is my bitch. Just and I absolutely love it. And and <laughs> Wait, let me show you this. This is what Mbappe posted Tosin on his uh, Instagram story. All right, after the game. Look. He posted this. Picture of him with the rain. And no caption, Tosin. Like, we fucking lost the game. Oh yeah, it's true. Yeah, he's supposed to be celebrating the win. Yeah, well, no he, yeah, he's, he's, not he's, he's, he's not happy. He's not happy. And then uh, this one. I mean, I've never liked you know these kinds of videos. No, it's oh, fake. That's fake. That's fake. 
You don't say feel the pit? I see the pit. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't think people are that good lip readers to think that. No, I just hate how he's trying to destroy the vibe. We should be more say tune in at develop home, and what you want to make it about oh the game where Mbappe got subbed off early because he dropped a stinker. Weird. That's what he does, man. Alepari. Did not have Bettina took his time to score. He was very calm and composed compared to what he did versus Bayern last season when he panicked to shine hurry. Yep. No, Bettina. Yeah, no, that was great from Bettina, man. Like, I think he knew he was going to get it, receive it too. Like, I, I think he knew Dembele was going to get it back to him. That's why he mm. was so calm and composed before that finish. Maybe they've just done that shit in training multiple times. So, I had enough. Yeah. It's a great finish, man. Mm. What a performance, man. The worst thing on the. Dembele Tosin. Give up on their own, their own. Oh, yeah, the office. What, what's up? Because <laughs> Elmo made the timestamp on it. The best to go for any speech. Every time I see the ADC, they always go like that. Come on. Warren, Dembele, nice Dembele. Oh, Dembele, there we go. The right, you can go inside. Dembele. No, 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 he's a genius. He's a genius. He's a genius, man. Why can't he score? Why can't he score, dog? Would you say you're the biggest Dembele fan in the world? <laughs> and Turkey. Not really, just a supporter. Just a supporter. I mean, doesn't he just get the program done? Nah, he should have scored, man. That would have been the that would have been the play the goal of the, the goal of the week, basically. <laughs> no, but are you seeing like improvements from him? Because this game. For example, the Sociedad game, Tosin, as a 10, he didn't dribble that much. Yeah, this today he did. He didn't miss. I don't think he missed any of his dribbles. Yeah. It was just the uh, lack of concentration on passes. That's yeah, what that, he needs to fix. You remember the minute, what was it, like 63 60 something? Second, 60 second minute where he made that pass. Like, he can't do shit like that. It's like <laughs> lack of concentration. Damn, bro. But Tosin, when I see them barely sometimes, it's like you're seeing a youngster. It's like he never matured at Barca. Like he's 26. Yeah. He looks like a 21 year old that does elite stuff, but then, you know, does the immature mistakes. He got to get these stuff out of his game immediately, especially if he's going to play centrally and going to get more freedom, especially when Mbappe leaves. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, like the, I like the look of it. I like him more oriented towards the right, though, centrally. I think that's where he's at his best, but yeah, man, it's just the the goals, man. The goals is that's just it's huge, man. Like yeah. one goal is crazy. No, he, he, but, he got but the time. funny thing is, he was still he was still yeah. one of our best. That's the thing, man. Yeah. Like even with the one goal, he's still like top I mean, three he, player for us today, which yeah. is crazy. No, he like all the chances we had came off him. Like when he was on the pitch, and then obviously the goal. Fake information. He got the assist, and he couldn't got he could have got gotten even more if if Kolo finished off with. And you remember Mbappe when he had good opportunities, he didn't give it to Dembele. Yeah, yeah second half. Yeah, Much I kind of that. But it depends. It's one game, whatever though. I, mean, I, just, no, I, I just don't know, like, I see, why 
it was such a weird game from Mbappe. Like in the beginning, he was not involved. Then when we dropped a red card, he, he played like more centrally. Then he just be, started to be playing selfish. She has a 20 second I don't know what's wrong with him, man. But yeah, I, I'm not I'm not afraid for like the next couple of games or, or, or even the Barca game, nothing. Oh, but it's QR. And if we look at the player's average position. So we had so in the first half it was like this Tosin. Danilo and uh, Lucas Deep with Berardo like essentially like nearly in DM zone, Tosin. Then Warren there in the pivot, Vitinha, Fabian, the billet. Look, like, look how many players were at centrally, like a four man. Then Hakimi is that outlet on the right. Yeah. And have you noticed he doesn't invert as much anymore, Tosin? Because then Bile is inverting. Or like yeah. same central. So Hakim yeah. is now more like a touchline fullback. And then Colo <laughs> is like outlets on the right. And Bappe, I wouldn't call him Bappe an outlet on the left because he didn't make a single run. He was just. Yeah, he just wanted it to feed the whole time and just, you know. <clears throat> And Bobby was just trying to do too much yeah. today, man. He had like four or five players on him. He's trying to get past three, four players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the damage isn't from the MR. It's more about zero shots, two out of four dribbles completed, one key pass, and then what, that one tackle. Well, I, I want to see Vitinha. Why is he in Swedish? All our bench players play for Clermont? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. All bench players for the Clermont game. But obviously, we, we're going to think about the Ren game coming up now. So, Vitinha, five out of five successful dribbles. Hey, yeah, Tosin, I saw the, the clip of what you, what you talked about before, the, the action that I missed. Oh, yeah, yeah, in the first half where he was just yeah, juggling oh, it. Fuck. Yeah. That's some like Isco shit. Yeah, yeah no, I thought he's, were, he's really taking like on another dimension. When my support has cancer. Oh my god, Ligan fucking copyright today. Fuck off, Ligan. Disgusting league. Oh my taste, they removed the clip. Should have sold them up at the summer kept Neymar. No, look. Stop this Neymar stuff, man. Neymar is cooked. Neymar, Neymar is fucking injured now. Us receiving those 100 million for him is a huge, huge positive blessing. Stop. Please. Honestly, Mbappe leaving now, like, I can't wait till we get like, another winger, man. What I do, I queue back me. But do you think the future of this team has wingers? Every time. Or like That's like inverted wingers, Tosin. Walk up, I'm always gonna get that. Like, 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 Liao could play that, Tosin. That's what I'm thinking, man. Like I just get Liao and Dembele on either flank, or play Liao as like a left side of four with Ramos. Colo, I think Colo. I don't think Colo's gonna stay though. I don't know, like this Colo Gonzalo thing. I don't get how the people play so many games. One has to go because Gonzalo's Gonzalo's his celebration was iconic, man. Like the that was an iconic celebration. Him, Sergio, like. Sticking it to the Marseille fans, man. Yeah, David said he did it all for the PR. Do you think that that was his like intention when he did it? Pointing to the badge, you know. Some like, that guy is the one. Si se pari. Nah, he's smart. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, no, I, I, I'm just saying. I know his intentions. Like he, he will do anything to stay at the club, and I love to see that actually. So here is the here's Vitinha, just being the best 
Mm-hmm. Well, that's Justin, I can't wait to start propping him as the best midfielder in the world, man. Oh, oh. Like, dude, that's like, insane. Time, that's what it is. I feel like he's toying with his dogs, man. But at the same time, I want to give him the one. Yeah, what should I do? I feel like she's saying this just because you want to do the 100 wings. Uh, is it here? I can't find it. Mm. Went on crazy winning spree. Me. Well, I'm guessing. Did you go for a replacement? I think Liao was the best one available. Oh, here, Tosin. Look. I mean, I was rank one last episode. So. Ooh. This is how we play now, Tosin. It feels like like Dembele and Liao in these areas, or maybe play Liao as a striker. What is this? Just look at this box, Tosin. Look at the technical football here, and then you have two like it's like we because then Dembele is a technically a winger, Xavi is technically a winger, but inside, and then you have the, the best fullback doing in the world. That's crazy, man. Why are we... Kang. Kang today, bro. Kang's minutes today were so underrated, man. The way he came in and just, you know, stabilized that left-hand channel. You know, it was just, you know, being as another, an extra passing option. Yeah. Like, three I'm recoveries. Really uh, no, Damn, he lost a lot of duels, though. Yeah. Two out of nine duels. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he jumps into a lot of them uh, just to, you know, make it harder for the opposition. But yeah, I think that's one of Kang's stuff. He, he has, you know, adapt more to league in, like playing without the ball. I don't yeah. think he did that that much at La Liga, in La Liga. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm so happy because all the substitutions Tosin had a positive um, impact on the game. Gonzalo scored, Asensi got an assist. Ugarzi Tosin had 11 defensive actions. Yeah. Eight duels yeah, won. Was everywhere. Was everywhere. I played five to keep yeah. the clean sheet. Just reset. It's nice. We're ready for Barca. Very low. What is that disgusting lineup? What do you mean, David? Like, I see this team now as a, a central based team where everything has to be central. Like, Dembele is playing inside. And, like, we're just doing it game by game. When he reaches his full potential in that position, oof. Yeah, Liao can play striker. Liao used to play striker at Lille. He's like built like Mbappe. Plus, he doesn't press that much, so it's better having him there. Like, if you want to put it, it would look like this. It's a Hakimi, Yoro, Lucas backline. Thank it's Vinia, just... Kang, Xavi, Dembele, Liao. This is what yeah, this I, just think, like. I just think... Um... Like I said, I said this like a couple podcasts ago. I don't think the midfield is an issue at this point anymore, dude. Oh, no, we don't need to buy anyone. It's really the attack, dude. We need to fix our attack. Especially with Mbappe leaving. And then I, I think you should ship Danilo away. Because there's... Yeah, there's no point... That's why I, I would still I'm still a proponent proponent of keeping Marquinhos, but yeah. Uh, okay. I mean the thing about me with Marquinhos, you can't keep him. For me, it's just that his value tosin will start to, like going down now and we want to have that money. So you'd sell him to Bayern or whatever? I, I, think Saudi, I think Saudi would offer a lot of money. 
What if he doesn't want to go to Saudi with the 2026 World Cup coming? Right, they, will, they will send him to... I can send him to Bayern. I don't give a fuck. What, you think he's going to go there and suddenly become a beast? That's ten. To, that's ten. To, that's kind of how I tend to go. Yeah, is there a fatigue comp of today's game? I'm gonna check. Uh, David said, "I want to hear Tosin say Liao is a striker." I mean, he has played as a striker. Like he was a striker at Sporting's uh, youth academy, and he was a striker at Lille. Yeah. Like he's played there, but obviously he's best as a left winger because it's kind of like the inverse of Mbappe, man. Like, you know, like Mbappe is really a central attacker, but he, he sure, wanted to be this, Why, weird oh, guy, this left winger. Like, But yeah, like uh, Leao is kind of like the same. Like Leao, he, he ran away from the center forward grind to be a left winger. But he could he could come back because like come Leao, back. You look at Leao's physical traits, like his quality, like he should be a top center forward, honestly. But he doesn't like to like, move. At you all. might as well just keep yourself. Adapted. He's very lazy. That's why he went for the left wing. And he's he's more of a natural winger than Mbappe, though. That's not it. It's not even yeah, close. Okay, so the first thing uh, PSG comps posted to us is a Donnarumma comp. Donnarumma comp? Okay. Yeah. I don't want to watch Donnarumma. I don't want to watch it. It's because it's, it's, it's reminding me. Of, yeah, it's reminding me of the Marseille chances. And yeah, it's a bit open. Wait, I'm back to Rancon Card TV. Damn boys, we needed that. Like you think this is, you know, back in the day, I used to be, I used to be toxic fifteen year old. No, of course I'm not toxic. I mean, you're a toxic person. Yo, that was that was crazy. No, it was big no. Yeah, that's the only thing uh, at the moment. From him. Uh, is there a Dembele comp? No. Not yet. No, but I, I'm, I'm teaching you the way that they don't work. It's not going to be very fun. Mm -hmm. Dembele, Dembele's comps didn't drop one, maybe? Yeah. Mm, I, no, no. I, I... Wait, let me see. <laughs> I mean, you could have eaten and cancelled the dash. You're kind of annoyed. I mean, no. I mean, it's not. It's he always comes in the back. Wait, wh what? What minute are you going to? This is the Vitinia going. I mean, if he, if he... Oh, okay. Lucas. Maybe he, he has like a macro, you know, knows exactly. Nice, Vitinia. Hello, Vitinia. Ooh, Vitinia, right there. Right, Vitinia. Barry, you, you should not be talking, please. You're feeling. Please don't be. Vitinia, Vitinia. Vitor Ferreira, Machado, Machado Ferreira. It's about time. <laughs> look at oh, look at the booze. Look at oh, I love it. Fuck Marseille. Disgusting scumbag team, man. Oh, Bettinia, man. Wins the ball. What? So it's kind of make Mo E his first. Gonzalo will not lead PSG next season. He can stay as a backup, David. He's. Imp this is zero percent chance that Gonzalo will start games. You gotta stop with this agenda, David. So, <laughs> usually play like uh, on fresh accounts. Right? Thoughts on Fabian? Ooh, it's different. Fabian moved the ball around well, but he. I, I wish he scored that chance. He, he, yeah, he had dangerous chances. He had that he had a one. Lot of chances. 
And he had that pass he might try to make to Dembélé as well. Like the, in deeper zones, he did great, but, um, but he's getting a lot of chances though. He, he needs to start yeah. converting because he's he, those well, late runs into the box. You know, and he spill you know loose balls in the box. Like if they're falling but, to him, like, like he's got to be clinical, you know. Because he's an extra midfielder coming into the box. So, like Lucho yeah, says, man, he wants his midfielders to be offensive minded. Mm. Getting yeah. into the box. So, yeah, like Fabian's actually getting chances, man. That's, good. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Yeah, but like, who do you see, see him being like changed with Nick for next season? Because I don't see him as a starter. Um, I would love Kang Lee to be in those positions. I would have started, yeah, I would have started Kang. Too. Um, today, I felt like you know, it's just a water man. Boom, I what the fuck, fuck is wrong with him? Okay, Warren will pick what? it up. He, he, he had some moments today. As I'm typing, Warren might be a fullback. Thoughts? I don't know if there's anything here. I can throw stop. Man. Fabian Schockamp of the season will make them really look like Pavel Nedved. <laughs> yeah, Fab Fabian has. Hey, man. Gets a lot of chances, a lot of chances. This is that extra midfielder that runs into the box, like the Wijnaldum, you could call it. I got. Yeah, I've seen Mbappe's Insta post. Mbappe should honestly just, just man up, start behaving like a man. PSG fans will be present at 1.30 a.m. at the Rosie Charles de Gaulle Airport to celebrate tonight's victory versus Marseille with the players and cheer them ahead of the important dates in April. Nice. So we'll soon get a video of that when they come to Paris. Long laying, it just makes it so strong. And if you get ganked once, you're completely fucked. Okay, this is an Mbappe fan. Very mid-club. Glad Mbappe is leaving. Lucha thinks he's above the club. The ego maniac. Mark, it's the opposite. It's you, Mbappe, who thinks he's above the club. Kylian Mbappe was subbed out for two reasons. First of all, he was think No, three reasons. First of all, he was stinky. Second of all, we have a tough game versus Rennes coming up, and we want Mbappe to be healthy and fit for that game. And third of all, we were just going to defend for the remaining 30 minutes, and it's better having Gonzalo that's going to do more defensive actions than Kylian Mbappé. So, more, this is the issue I have with Mbappé fans, as I previously used to have with Messi fans. You only look at this from Mbappé's perspective. You don't look at this from PSG's perspective. How does this help PSG? You only look, oh, does this help Mbappé? I mean, Come on, more. If you're going to comment, please use your brain before. I like yes, I've seen Mbappé's post. Not only looking for this, you know, only to go before Mark if money's not a factor. Oh, yeah, 100%. 100%. Yeah, I agree. Think, th think that's a good point by Sergino, though. Thank you. That's a very good point. Please, like, that's what I'm saying. I'm not really trying to hear Marquinhos out when he has more quality than, than these other players. Like, it's not smart to just let him go. Like, you got to let the bums go first. What's up, Johnny? Lucha thinks it's a superstar like Pep. Lucho fucking won the game. Why do you? Ah. Well, the donkey received an extension. Oh, Kim Pembe. Yeah, Kim Pembe got to go as well, man. I... But he got an extension because I think PSG won to like sell him. I think that's why. That's the idea behind giving players extensions. That's, that was the idea behind giving Chris mm -hmm. one. He yeah. away and then he looks at it. Because we thought okay. we could sell him at the, right. in, in that moment. Nice My god. That'd be nice Like, how is normal games even fun? Like, I'm playing versus a team, bronze one. And I have, like, this low winner on my team. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Danilo Sloppy. Imagine. What happened to Nuno? Uh, just a precaution. He would, he would start next game versus Ren. Damn, there is. There's actually no. I'm actually on Twitter right now. There's no Viti in top. PSG. Yeah, they should, they should be. No, but Tosin, the, the issue is a lot of um, comp accounts are are scared of doing um, illegal comps. We know exactly where everyone is in the map. 
Because Ligue 1 Tosin, they are like jumping immediately and banning their accounts. Uh, if there's any Ligue 1 uh, copyrighted footage. And even screen will be difficult, Daniel has ID wages and don't care to be sub. Magnus wages are huge, it's not yeah, that bro. bad idea. Yeah, I think I think you know we we continue what we we did last summer and the summer before with Luis Campos. It's just you know making the team even younger. We are moving these players with high wages, mm -hmm. especially with Mbappe leaving. We have to replace well. My first item. But like this game, we, we beat Villadrome. Uh, we beat Marseille at Villadrome two 0 without Mbappe because Mbappe didn't do shit this entire game. So I'm not even, I, like, I'm not scared about, Mbappe, the only thing is in the Champions League, because in the Champions League, it's about taking your moments, and we, we don't oh, have that. That's just a moment. I can find yeah. a team account, but I found a damn build account. Okay, send it, send it. Right. Okay, okay, okay. So let me put it in the StreamYard chat. Yeah. You can't always get to the end. Bro, we're, when are we, when, who, you think we're gonna, oh. I don't believe it. I feel like it's, uh, like it only works in these long range times. Because every time I feel like when I take it, depends. No, I like what, I like, what, I like uh, how Lucho is just moving the team know. around, man. Like, he just knows the players to play at this point. And yeah. Everyone just looks motivated, man. The whole team. This the yeah. only player that is just it's just not working for him. Even though he had a I I'd say he had a good game tactically, but he still had to get sacrificed. You know? With Colomani. He had to get sacrificed. Ten man. Because we were down to ten men, so but you can see that there's a hunger in every player in the squad. The thing is just for Colo, Bro. Colo's just the only one where it's just not really coming really off. Easy, Even though today there were some interesting things, but you know, know with him, him going off, work. him leaving at halftime, I'm sure he's super disappointed. I okay, used to play. I did like one hundred percent. Well, I, I think you know, interesting because Colo doesn't have a brain like Mbappe. Colo thinks and knows. Okay, I mean, we got a red card. So what? Like, think, attack for Barca. Who was that third man in the attack for Barca? I don't know. I like, I, I liked what, what Gonzalo did as well from the bench. Um, um, because I don't think I think either is a good option, Gonzalo or Colo. I think either is a very good I'm, option. I, I think all the time. I think Gonzalo no, no, no. playing necessitates Hillian having to be okay, play right more now. as a winger and be good. And actually yeah. give Kunde problems. You know? No, no, no. Kunde's other, other side. Whereas with it, no, no. Kunde will be on the right side. Kunde's and Bappe's on the left. Yeah, yeah and Bappe, right okay, okay. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought you were talking about Kolo. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas with Kunde, yeah. if it's Kolo, yeah. you know, and Bappe can. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay, my bad. Mbappe like won't really have to need to do all that winger stuff, you know. But I got it either way because that shit's too. So, I don't know, man. Like, look, Pagan's playing the with thing is, Gonzalo, the man. Gonzalo, he just he's he's really good at reading the game. One touch, two touch. Yeah, he knows where the free man is gonna be. Yeah, I know. Just you know. Whereas Colo, he, Colo, he's cool. expected to play to to play one v one. Colo one v one is just not good. The, the thing if you play anymore. if you play Gonzalo, then you need one of Dembele or Kang to be more as a winger. But I was that's what I was saying, mm. like playing. But, uh, like the I get what game. you're saying. Yeah, yeah. They'll need to stretch. Yeah, because yeah, so, in some phases Carter. they'll need to stretch the field. I, don't I know what you're saying. Oh, we don't have that. Hakimi. Like, we don't yeah. have a Hakimi like we did in this so game. Random, I can play. Doesn't even play. So no. yeah. <laughs> man, I can't I wait for the Barcelona. Man, I knew you see football. I mean, 
my point is that it's very chill, but it's like, of course, we're talking about no losses. And I think that's... Wait, wait, wh wh why is he gassing me? What, what did I say? I think, it, I think it's about Gonzalo. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, David, he got his agenda for Gonzalo. I'm just looking at it objectively, like... Right, so sorry, we, bro, we got we're we got a foot in the final, bro. Like if we just take this shit seriously, we we're literally in the final, Champions League final. Yeah, that's the issue. Like sometimes when I'm fighting, I still max. And I mean, feel like the, the man, like if we press Barca, like I said, if we press the man to man across the field, they're they're not gonna get out. It, it's Yo, they're gonna be struggling to breathe. You don't do that, that big. <laughs> Colo off the bench against tired legs. I mean, even Gonzalo off the bench. Like, he's what he died that little recently. I, I know. And, and then now this. Yeah, man. That, the thing is now, who's just going to be that third attacker? That's that's the dilemma. Is it Colo? Is it Ramos? Is it, and then the wild card, third guy, Asensio? But Asensio, like. He played more as like a midfielder. Like he played more like what Dembele is playing. Yeah, and then, then you would just move Dembele. Like as the fourth it would be like at the start of the season. Leon, remember the Leon game? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But then Dembele was as an attacker. You want to do that? Bro, Dembele, oh, that's the, the point maker. of this team. Everybody's you know, versatile. Everyone's more. versatile. You want to be more as a playmaker? Or as an outlet goal scorer, I'm probably not gonna play. <laughs> as long as he's beating his man one v one, it don't it don't really matter. Mm -hmm. Hugo, is he the odd? Is he the fourth man? Yeah. Liao and Gonzalo double pistons for Portugal PSG next year. I'll be there. Yeah, Tosin, uh, Liao commented on uh, Gonzalo's post. Voila. But like Liao, is just, I've noticed he's really, uh, he spends a lot of time on social media. But, yeah, I yeah, mean, he'd be too heavy. Like, you know, the dudes that, them Portuguese, it's Bruno Fernandes too. He'd be liking, Bruno, hmm. he'd be liking everybody post. But them dudes be too heavy into the social media thing. But like again, this Liao. If PSG won Liao, we get Liao. Um, but Liao, Liao. What, what do you make of the report that OC man wants to come as well? Again, water is wet, Tosin. Obviously, we'd come to PSG. Like <laughs> that report you know, isn't even. That report like, came from um, Il Martino, the like, oh, Napoli yeah. sport. Yeah, the same people. Yeah, yeah. Naples, yeah, some sports outlet in uh, Na yeah. Na in Naples. So that that shocked me. He said that he dreams of coming to PSG. Like, is that yeah, legit? Know. Like, he dreams? Like, My legit? The rank one. Um, I mean, Man, look at know. our pull. Our pull is yeah, crazy. Yeah. Pretty much at them. These guys. But uh, it's Operation Holland this mm -hmm. summer. Holland. Holland. Yeah. Holland. Could be sexist or anything, but why are the top two eaters? Oh, just imagine Holland here. The, the, you know the constant runs that he would make. Then mm. Bele could feed him. I mean, I'm just wondering. Mm. It would be, it would be, it would be disgusting, honestly. He'd have so much fun playing with uh, Dembele no, as opposed to like Foden. Foden. Foden just always wants to get his. Yeah. You know? exactly. It's like when and you play and, and De Bruyne, De Bruyne can only get the ball to Holland if, if he's crossing. It. Would it be like this then, Tosin? It's like a five midfielders because then Billy and Chavi can be midfielders and wingers. Maybe it goes and up then Haaland up top with Hakimi Nuno stretching. I mean, I played with uh, so like it's the East female team because I'm just that low, you know. They're kind of go to, and then you could get Liao, you put him here, and then you have. Chavez rotation piece. And then as substitutes, you have Tenas, you have Beraldo, you have Marquinhos Yoro here, you have Muscardo. Um, 
Do you like Warren, Warren left, left of center or right of center? On the bench, I love him the most at the moment. He's played like two games, I think, on the left side. And I think, I think Warren. It's less about where he wants to be or where he's best. It's rather the players around him, Tosin. So if he has like Chavi, Nuno, Lucas, or Dembele, Hakimi, Yoro, which one is the one that defends the worst? You put Warren there. That's how I feel. Because I'm not gonna lie, man. The the the, the issue in that first half, the ball progression on that right side was not good. Yeah, the Hakimi, Zaire Emery, um, Kolomani, right hand channel. Like it wasn't, it wasn't. We weren't really, you know, it was dead around there. Everything was yeah. going down like the middle or the left. So, Tosin, would you bench one Zaire Emery if Nevis came to PSG? You no, know, I'd find a way to play them together. Yeah. <laughs> I think they can play together. I think, yeah. I think, I think Warren, all Warren needs to do for me personally, it's not really anything in relation to his passing or his ball carrying, because all that is there. Like the ball carrying is, all, everything is there. The goal threat is there. It's just he needs to find ways to impact the game, you know, like defensively, I feel. I mean, he's more should, in the game defensively. I feel like I feel like we're gonna be crazy, man. Like, because then you can just play Neves and um, Warren as a double pivot, really like Vitinha and Kang, or Vitinha uh -huh. and Chavi, just be the advanced eights in like a box midfield. Like that would be that would be nuts. Just thinking about it. Because Warren, 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 Warren. I think Warren's traits now is just to he just needs to be more comfortable with more touches on the ball. Like, you know, Vitinha has way more responsibility than him in possession. He, Warren was taking a lot of that responsibility at the start of the season. Yes. More than Vitinha, I thought. Yeah. But now it's kind of like flipped. Uh, and it makes sense that it's flipped again. because Vitinha has more qualities to do that, to be the first man to pick yeah. up the ball. Yeah. But Warren has those qualities too. I don't know why oh he's God. just been okay. like, I guess, yeah, he's just been a bit neutral with the ball. But me personally, I want to see him take another step like on the defensive side of things. Because if he mm -hmm. does that, we won't really be talking about, oh, we need a DM or we need a six. I mean, like, we just. We Well, you, you think this is the future for PSG on the Lutra, five midfielders? Yeah, man. If we get uh, João Neves. Um, you playing João Neves then as the as the six? And then you're playing like a Vitinha Kang, Dempele Chavi. Yeah, like you, you can do one, something like that. Yeah. Two eights, and then two offensive eights slash tens. Yeah. You do it that's pretty much. Or you could just play a front two of Dembele in Holland. Like they do a front two, like Pep does a front two of Holland and KDB. And you can just play a box midfield, like, you know, or just, you know, four midfielders behind them. Yeah, so like a double pivot and then two double. Yeah. Because yeah. what we have, which Pep would do anything for, is the fullbacks that we have. He's never had fullbacks that we have, apart from Walker, but Walker is cooked now. So now he's trying this stinky Guardiol. So no, asking. City have so many mid players. They have so many like, like a Kanji, Vardiol. Vardiol had a very good game, by the way. He had a good game. Vardiol actually did have a good game today. But you're paying a hundred million for your center back to be making marauding runs down the left channel. Like that's it's kind of nasty okay. stuff, man. Um, but yeah, like. Always gets it's, it's just hella mid. It's hella B tech players, bro. Doku, like Doku, is a talented player, but he's very one way, one dimensional. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. How can they not have posted? None of these teams. None of these teams are on our level, man. And, and no, they haven't understood it yet. 
The problem is though, is this Mbappe? It's it's, 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 it's it's dude Mbappe, man. He needs to fix up. Like, no, it's the, listen, look, the crunch time. But I think I know he will. To be honest, it's yeah, yeah. In the CL, in the CL, that's where we need him, and maybe in the Coupe de France now. Tough games coming up. I mean, yeah, but like, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about your younger. Or he just presses the ultimate ability. Yeah, but your teammates don't have plans. Look, he's has no skills other than dribbling. Yeah, yeah look, is disgusting. Like, you're just one dimensional player. That's what Pep loves, though. Pep loves one dimensional players. A player that can do one thing at an elite level. He doesn't care about the other stuff. Why is that? Oh, I won't lie, though. Um, For us, I won't lie, though. Um, yeah? Bernardo, Bernardo, he's really good, man. Like, like his style. Like, I wouldn't mind to getting him at this point. I think I was tripping. I know he's 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 above the age range. But he would honestly fit too, man. Like he pretty much is like just he's like a universal footballer, man. He plays central midfield, right wing, like DM, like fullback. It's crazy, man. Like it's he's on the man. And his um like technicality, that's well. Yeah, exactly. Like it, it, it would just fit like a glove in our team, honestly. Like he can play with anybody. Did it, no, no, I read it. Yeah, yeah, Bernard has a release clause. He has a release clause. Yeah, yeah. Time games, Salam, Awan. Mbappe sinker. Um. Yeah, I'm. You, you know what, Tosin? Out of the Bernardo, De Jong, Kimmich guys, like it's so fun. I probably lean more to Bernardo. And then there is Bruno. Like, do you still want Bruno? Oh, Guimarães? Yeah. yeah. Playing games in general is a waste of time. My, my point is... Uh, not really, but if Lucho does, I mean, it's nothing you can do. US. <laughs> Apparently, Pep and, and Lucho are both crazy about the player. Mm. Yeah, but this... They rate him very highly. So... How's the performance? Um, good performance. It wasn't, a, you know, great or elite. It was just a good performance in context with the circumstances. The disgusting red card. Um, Dembele and Bappe being subbed off early for, you know, future games and so on. I'm happy with the performance. It was a very mentally strong performance. Bruno and Paqueta both going to City. I mean, if we call... Any of them, they will come to PSG head of city. Like, but it all depends on if we want them. Are they our priority? Do we want Joao Neves ahead of them? Bro, if they get Bruno and Paqueta, City have done a madness. I ain't gonna lie. Bro. Because their their um, link up together is it's it's high level stuff. Watching it at Leon, I knew like that translates to the highest level of, of for football. If they're mm. going to get that at City, that's going to be crazy. Like, um, then Muscardo as well? Muscardo can honestly become a starter, dude. Don't be shocked if he, if he becomes a starter. Like you could play as a six, and then you can play um, uh, Vitinha more offensively. He's a DM with the agility of, of, of an eight. Like, <laughs> with the engine, the power, the strength. And this is what Luke has just posted on his Twitter, Tosin. And Luke Lassique is not played. It is one. Uh, another PR tweet. These guys. Man. <laughs> Are they learning from Mbappe? <laughs> positive, good stuff. And then we have that fucking rat that... He's tweeting and posting like we fucking lost the game or something. Uh, we should sign Vlahovic? No. No, no, no. Neves from um, Benfica. 
Pure Saint Germain, Kimpembe Thodden, Thodden. No, I like it, I like it. I know, you need to be able to do that, sadly. Mm. But more, again, I don't really care that much. For me, it's all about the intentions. Kylian Mbappe is obviously posting that to create drama. This is something he's always done at PSG, posting pivot gang, saying stupid stuff in interviews. He wants people to get mad. He wants to create drama. Why? Because then everybody talks about him. This is exactly what Mbappe wants. Obviously, I could counter that by not talking about Mbappe, but when Mbappe is disrespecting the club, this is disrespectment to the club because he's once again putting himself about the club, um, you know, just for fun. And I'm obviously going to cook him for that. He's a rat, and I can't wait until he leaves this club. And I don't want him to extend. Lucho, please, stop fucking... Stop talking about him extending. We don't want him. Damn, I'm playing with six dead three months. Not six dead three months of plans. It's over. What do I mean? about fanboys are already turning against PSG? Yeah, I'm happy about it. Because now they're not, you know, people can now differentiate between those rats and true PSG fans. Tiago Santos right back in the Neuro Man. Campos needs to peel this off. Oh, the right back? The oh. I remember him. He clamped up Koldo something crazy when we played. And go on, Gypsy, guys. Trust. Not hard, though. It's Colo. Bro, do you, remember, do you know like, that shit Colo always does every time he receives it down the left? You know, he tries to, to flick it. Yeah, he tries to do the little the little chip. Like, bro, you're not that. You're not that guy. <laughs> Mbappe, man. Just win us the Champions League and get the fuck out. Man. That, that midfield battle versus, like, Vitinha versus Gundogan, Dian, Vitinha has to win it, man. No, the level okay. Vitinha is playing at right now is definitely higher than. Yes. Is probably yeah, is probably top five. You know, there are not that many central midfield players that are better than the team right now. Mm. AP, once again, thank you so much for the super chats. Art back, appreciate it. Merci beaucoup. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, ask Susan about the random favela winger. Him and Ro Rooney could be the backup wingers next year. I don't know. Uh, is it the one from Corinthians? Is it the winger from Corinthians? Wesley something. Gasava? Gasovo? Yeah, Wesley. Yeah, Wesley Gasova or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He actually has the traits to be more of a number nine than uh than the left winger. He's very like very yeah, very big wide base. Um he has more. He looks like he could be a nine. He, that Wesley Gasova, I like what I saw in the tape. Honestly, he like he reminds me of uh, Luis Muriel. Remember Luis Muriel from Atalanta? Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, he yeah, reminds yeah. me of him. Oh, it's the the guy. And then, but uh, and then I don't know much about that that Copenhagen dude. I, just, I know he scored against yeah. United or something. David, what it looks like now, is we don't need just a winger. We need a winger that can also play inside, like a Xavi or a Dembele, and a Kangi Lee. And Tosin, say his name. Say his name, Tosin. Uh, Wait, a winger that can play inside. Yeah. Column one. No, 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 no. That can play like an inside eight. Well, this guy is. He's a bit Polo? fat. He's a bit fat. Algerian. Yeah, oh, Sherky. Okay. okay. I respect it. Because this, this zone, which this is perfect for Sherky, right, Tosin? You don't want him just holding the width. You don't want him too centrally as a 10. You want him here. And then, like you have Cherokee, then Billy, Xavi, Kangi, Lee, Tosin. 
But that's our we've built our Imagine we, we play Kvara Tosin as an inside eight. I think that would suit him. If you if you play Kavara Dembele on the wings, that that'd be the best wing partnership since Rivery Robin. Like genuinely, would be crazy. it'd be iconic, man. Gianluigi Donnarumma has made 10 saves against Marseille. The highest tally for a previous goalkeeper and for a goalkeeper in Luc La Six since Opta began to collect these data. The best goalkeeper on the planet. Nothing, so you, best. Nothing else needs to be said. Usual, you, you saw that thing that David posted in the group chat, right? In terms of extensions, in terms of extensions, you have to extend GGO, you have to extend Akimi, and you have to extend Nuno. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't heard anything about Dona. From what I know, they are currently like talking with Hakimi. He's the priority at the moment. But they gotta Justin, extend all three. Uh, Justin, one thing we don't know is maybe PSG are still trying to extend the rat. Need a pipe. I can still see that a possibility. Whether no, right now I'm sure all doors are closed, but they will make one last offensive. Because Mbappe hasn't signed anything, really. Yeah. You know? But yeah, I can see them making one last offensive. Yeah. To, you know. See if do you think that they Mbappe would do that off, his mind. off to like we win the CL? Yeah, after we win the CL. You think he would be a free agent during the summer? Do you think like there would be a period where he's not under contract at either PSG or Madrid? No, 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 because it'll be resolved before the Euros, according to him. Okay. So, unless he's a liar. He's lied many times, so. I win it. That's the thing, right? So. When would they do this push then? Like around semifinals period? So much better. I don't know, dude. Ooh, my God. <laughs> I have sense when I'm How could Mbappe say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Tosin. If, if somehow it happened, one of Mbappe's promises would be that Lucho gets removed, probably. You know, don't worry. If my but if Mbappe is smart, he wouldn't want that. Because sure, you could say Lucho is, you know, having a negative relation with Mbappe, but he's doing the best for the team. And does Mbappe want to win or does he want a manager he has a good relationship with? Yeah, if if Lucho like bro, but don't Lucho's very, um, he's unpre unpredictable as well. Lucho could win the Champions League and be like, you know what, I'm done. What does Timmy confirm? No, no, that shit too, bro. Trust me, Lucho is very like Lucho resigned from his Roma job, resigned from his Spain job before he took it on again. Like, okay. like Lucho's, okay. he's unpredictable like that as well. Yeah, but yeah if Mbappe I, does extend and Lucho leaves, yeah. This is probably the happiest Lucho's been ever. I agree, but would you if you had to keep Mbappe or Lucho, who are you keeping? What the fuck? Obviously, Lucho. Fuck Mbappe. Listen, I don't want Mbappe to stay. Yeah, but if you're a club owner, you're not saying that. You're not responding with that answer. That's yeah. No, no, being, no, 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 no. If you're, if you're a club, a club owner, owner that has had Mbappe for seven years and have gone through all of this shit, My I wish Nasser had the logical thinking that, you know what? It's not worth it. It's not worth the fuss. I don't know. It's not worth it. Please wave. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold the line. It's not worth it, man. Mbappe probably really wanted Nagelsmann in the summer. Yeah, and he probably liked that Henri assistant shit. Because then yeah, Henri he probably did. Yeah, he probably like, yeah. Oh, and Mbappe Henri would have Henri would have just been yeah. Henri would have just been enabling him, enabling his bullshit. You know. Yeah, and Mbappe does something, and then he says, "Oh, that's what great players do. They they post."
Mbappe leaving or what? What? Have they posted something about Mbappe leaving or what? Yeah, okay. Okay, we know he's leaving. Like, what, what's there new to say now? Or are you talking about what? Oh, Abdullah Bulma. Everything is almost done between Mbappe and Vial. Yeah, that's a mouthpiece movement. Mbappe's mom called Abdullah and told him, write this to create even more fuss. Like, get the fuck out of here. Such a snake, man. Mbappe's not even making runs anymore, man. Didn't make any runs today. On purpose. I think he did that on purpose. He just... Decided I'm not gonna make runs today. What a rat. Still it's a rodent. Fucking rat, man. <laughs> Bro, every time I watch him play, he gives the desire of a person that wants to leave. Mbappe is weird. One game, he looks like, oh, Mbappe is extending. He's out. He's home. He's happy. And then the next game, he, he just does this shit. Hey, are you playing there? No, I won't. I don't track on Twitch. I don't think you have any strong Yes, sir. I've seen my games and I look at it really neutral and it's like peak. So, you know, inside Lucha really want Mbappe to leave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously. Uh, no, you know what? I, I think Lucho still appreciates Mbappe a lot as a football player. It's just everything else that comes with having Kylian Mbappe that is like, because when they asked Lucho about it, he said, This is every week. Every single week, you ask me about fucking Mbappe all the time. <laughs> Like, they don't ask him, oh, why did you sub Dembele off? Why did you sub Fabian off? It's always Mbappe. Even though Mbappe was probably the worst PSG player on the pitch in that first half. Hey, please. Please, stay. There goes in the But, like... I don't get it. Why does Zoe not listen to my opinions? Wait, my CS is really that bad. <laughs> that bad. Now, Pfizer is so disgusting. Yeah. That's why, from, from a moral perspective, I hope Mbappe fails so badly at Madrid. So fucking badly. Him and his stinky, filthy mom. ACL first game. Arribas, Eric Garcia, and the Liga defender. Foul the shit out of him. Abuse him. Valencia fans, you know what to do. Abuse the fucking rat. Because this is this is too much now. This is too much. Like, we just fucking be more safe and we've talked maybe like 30% of Mbappe here. We don't talk about that. We don't can't wait until this is over. It's enough. It's <laughs> enough. Me, the person posted that Nuno Mendes. Oh my days. Wait, did they actually? Like, it's so green. How do I fuck it up that hard? Like, I literally killed both. It's a, it's, it's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> like, come on, bro. How you gonna believe that shit? Come on, man. <laughs> but why is media Parisian doing that, man? Uh, how disgusting are and I? <laughs> it's fake. It's fake. All, all that matters is it's fake. No, but that. No, no. Yeah, it's it's April the first. That's true. And I paid it so shit. It's kind of no, but look at what Florian uh, wrote himself. I believe that. I remember it's first of April. Yeah, fact, so. Oh yeah, no, I, I even have it. Um where is it? I have one of average goals. Yeah, Tosin, have you seen this one? Average goal scored in Europe top seven leagues.
No, yeah, like fine. the defending in the Premier League has been disgusting. Did you see the Newcastle? Um, what's time? No, it was time game, bro. All these games so, are uh, it's just it's a comedy show, it's not football. It's acres of space, acres of space, bro. Like Moses parting the Red Sea watch. type space. <laughs> I'm gonna do live coaching, man. Uh, Tosin, would you say that's why when Arsenal play like a Porto, they, they can't handle it because they are used to play against Polish prostitutes? Arsenal had to play the role of Porto really today regret. against City. They just played very conservative, played a deep block. That's how I'd imagine Arsenal would play if they came to the park. That's so true. You know? Yeah. I mean, a bit, I'm a bit of a just play a deep player, block, player. press press in the moments you need to, just yeah. hoping that yeah. we make a mistake. You know, a lot of these teams are, yeah, are, are ass, like, bro. Like, like we're on a different level footballing wise. A lot of these teams, bro. Only only Madrid is like you know on an individual level can fuck with us. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then obviously David is bringing up the in the I don't know the passing thing in the most watched league we are we're third right so yeah slow. we're gonna need another draw though because there's some Mbappe tax don't yeah. you think with that but he keeps losing Mbappe it's not that big Mbappe's not that big though. I think I think he has Bob like Messi and Neymar were, were much bigger than Mbappe. They brought much more viewership to Liga and, and Paris Saint Germain than Mbappe has done. Like, Kangi Lee has more shirts than Mbappe. Yeah. People come to watch PSG more because of Dembele than Mbappe. Yeah. No, Dembele don't got Dembele ain't marketed like that. Come on, bro. No, I, I'm saying like they, they come to the stand. That's what the the, the 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 like the people that live in Paris say. They don't go towards fucking disgusting rat. Yeah, Dembele. Honestly, I think Dembele is our biggest draw to the game because of what he can oh, do yeah. on the because of what he can do on the football pitch. I have him, and then my second one, Tosin. It's Nuno. Nuno. Yeah, no, 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 true, yeah. Before a game, those are the plays I like. Oh, are they starting? I'm, I'm excited to watch them. Then Vitinha, he's coming up there. Kangi Lee as well. I think Chav is going to be a big one as well, Tosin. He dribbles a lot as well. And it's really... Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, yeah, Chavi better be what y'all tell me. Because if Chavi's on the level of like his, his uh, peers in Bundesliga, uh, Wirtz and Musiala, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. if he's like, you know, rivaling them, and he's on that level, and he can give us that type of type of production yeah, and impact. Yeah, you're supposed to be like we're, we're cooking with hot grease next season. Right? What am I doing? Avi, then we, we Tosin, I think we have to do the jerky thing because it would cost like twenty million. We can do that. I would love it, but you know, I don't know if they're eager. Wow. Like but if we did do that, man, Shirky is a backup winger slash, you know, false nine type. Yeah, that's not fair. And then Barcola, you'd have to do, well. then, bro, Barcola, dude. Not a good bro, Barcola's injury is is annoying, man. Came at the league on third. Didn't expect that. Yeah. We just Kingsley, it, it's just that PSG are such a big club. I don't know why they're... Like, Bay Bayern, nobody cares about Bayern. Serie A clubs is dead. Like, that's something we've already known. Who's the most marketable footballer right now outside of, like, England and Spain? Like, and Mbappe? not counting Mbappe. Yeah, not counting Mbappe. I'm talking... Ooh. I'm thinking someone in the Bundesliga then. Whoa. Like um, Musiala Verts. Ch Chavi Simons. Mm. Chavi Simons got crazy PR as well. And then you got the Inter boys. You got maybe Lautaro, maybe. Mm. Oh, but like, why do I. 
go for that. Um, yeah, like Lautaro in yeah, Syria, I'd probably be Lautaro, yeah. OC man, maybe. Yeah. Leao, Leao, potentially. Ooh, Leao. Oh, I forgot about Leao, yeah. Yeah. Listen, like, listen, if we have Leao, Chavi Simons, Dembele, Kangi Lee, and maybe get Holland or someone, we already got our superstars back. <laughs> Oh, he's saying Messi CR7. <laughs> no, nah, it doesn't count. You gotta have you it no, gotta be talking, Europe. Yeah, we're talking Europe. We're just talking Europe. I need a legal I'll dodge all the abilities. But yeah, man. Um midfield signing John mm -hmm. Nevis for me, man. John Nevis or Gavi, either one. Just get uh, that ball winning yeah. Yeah. all rounder. I mean, it's only the, yeah. the, if I just played it better on the I mean, This one, Tosin, here is the Vitini attacker. Yeah, that was crazy. Yo, Vitini has yeah. hit another level, man, these, yeah. this past month. I'm mean, looking at his defensive numbers, Tosin. But if I, if I want Three to, blocks, like, two clearances, nine, one the action, nine quick nine. actions, four recoveries, it's eight nine. duels, one. Like, he, he's just. He just goes into everything, even though he barely wins 50%. He just goes into it. Wait, where's this? Yeah, this was just three times by, yeah, Marseille are a good ball winning yeah, team. They're like such low IQ individuals. They're like, oh, I would Tosin, what, what was it that made this game uncomfortable, Tosin? It was the duels. Like, I think if I can find the duel stats, um, like Mar Marseille won much more duels against us. Uh, where's duels won? The only issue I play with that globe screen most of the time. Who was the man of the match? I don't know who was the official man of the match, but I guess it's Gianluigi Donnarumma. He had 10 yeah. saves, broke some records as well. Oh, no. And so, you know, we talked about this like three months ago, how few times we've given Mbappe none of the match, Tosin. Like we thought with Messi Neymar going, Mbappe was just going to sad pad every man of the match. He's barely won a third of all the games this season. I, mean, I respect the count to play to that. Like, this is the guy in my team, what? What item now? Uh, okay, duels one. Duels one. Yeah, so, so, so they won 51 duels and we won 48. Yeah, but this, they were. They have side, they are big. So, what yeah. happens when we play Barca? No, they're not on that level. Barca are not on that level. They're not good without the ball. Yeah, and they're not on that level physically either. Like, they don't go into no, duels like the Barca would or an a Liga team would. No, they're not even no, a physical no. associate of that. Well, no, no, so they're much better defensively. Bro, it was level 14. Like, how are Barca going to defend account for oh, Dembele as a 10 now? Like, that actually changes yeah, everything. You guys are complaining that he's stealing them off. He's like, Christensen plays like as a 6, Tosin. The yeah. thing is, though, with Dembele, Tosin, like he's not a 10. He's like a wide 10. Yeah. So the, the left center mid has to back off. So that's going to be yeah, Gundogan. He's a champ, but hey, guys. She's like, Dembele's going to cook Gundogan. Gundogan. He's going to yeah, like, the, 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 he can't, their midfielders can't defend. Like, of course, this guy no. is absolutely can't awesome. It's just like Christensen, why, I guess you could say. Why does he put himself through this? Since he's food. If, he's, if you can put him on an island, he's food. What funny is that now Sociedad are winning every game? Yeah, we, yeah, we, 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 helped, we, we, yeah. we reinvigorated their season. Like if I control no, my... Abir, it's a April, April, April. Stop. Stop. Don't do that. What did you say, 
Perhaps the campus for San Vicinia. Uh, Antero as well. I mean, I don't know exactly, but a lot of people say uh, that he was the major reason for us signing him. Have you cooked? Oh, yeah, yeah. We can go to the beginning of the stream, Jordi, when I brought up. Um, Frankie will be back. He's very strong and fast. No, but H, I'm, I'm comparing in this context. I'm comparing to the Marseille players today. No, no, I don't Plus, he hasn't played football in one month. Yeah, we'll see if that's a good or a bad thing. You saw some months against Mines, he got like eight percent. Yeah, 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 I saw that. He had like six key passes, six out of ten dribbles completed. Leipzig are holding him back somehow. Yo, what's up, DJ? Um, yo, you good? Yeah, yeah we're good. We're good. All my daggers. I was like, what do I do now? Crazy game, huh? I'm like, hello. Daddy. Yeah, it was. Is Saka still better than the <laughs> Uh, nah, it's it's, it's closer now. It's closer now. <laughs> You see that City Arsenal game, 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 game as well man. earlier? Yeah, bro, but I was falling asleep, man. It was awful. Exactly, man. It was that, that was bad. That was really bad. Yeah. Like people were saying it's like ro robots fucking playing against each other. That's what it looked like. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. Vardio Vardio had a piss easy exactly. time. Yeah, as a yeah. center back playing like it. Come on, man. Yeah. But yeah, man. Uh, what what you think about today's game, though? Like, oh, uh, bro, this is like it was. It wasn't a great performance, but I think I I don't think I've enjoyed like a PSG game in a very very long time. Just like, especially against Marseille as well. You know, to be able to come back away like we did, it was beautiful, man. Honestly, like the you know the counter counter attack in the second half, we just we killed them. You know. Yeah, like that counter attack, like with Hakimi and yeah. Ramos, man, just bro. Just I'm telling you now, cold, like Asensio off the bench, last 15 20, he can do something for us first this season, bro. I, I honestly believe that he was doing things when he was starting at the start, of yeah. The season. Like, bro, like Asensio, the one thing about Asensio is like, I feel like he has the technical ability to make certain passes that other players can't, you know. and He's not a great player, but I think if if he's fit, he can he can be a difference maker for a team. I know, like there was a point in the season where we were all thinking we should just put Asensio in the midfield three. Yeah, yeah. And just play um the front that we were rocking with at the start of Mbappe, Barcola, yeah. Dembele. Yeah. And just play Asensio behind them. Oh, but, uh, about that as well. I thought Colomani was lucky to get subbed, you know? Because I didn't think he was playing that poorly. I agree. I agree. I, I said it too on the watch along. Like, I thought he was making, like, a lot of interesting, like, runs in behind the yeah, fullback. Yeah. And, like, that was causing them issues. But it made sense to take him off from the aspect that, you know, we we're down to 10 men and we needed to keep the ball better. So, yeah, yeah, I guess. That's why that. the can't get the, yeah. yeah. So. It makes sense, though. But yeah. I mean, overall, though, like I just think since we're all beaten since November, bro, I think the stars are aligned, bro. Like, I don't see how Barcelona, if we press them man to man across the field, I don't see how they cope with us. Yeah. And like you, th another part of that is if you look at this game and you look at the second leg against Sociedad, like we're showing how deadly we can be on the counter, you know. And I think if we go to the Camp Nou. Like, I think we're now in a position where we're comfortable enough defensively that we can let them have the ball for a bit and then kill them on the break. And that's oh, making yeah. me they're, more comfortable, bro. Oh, man. They're they're in big trouble. Yeah. They're in big trouble off of that. Like, we're the only team that's the, at the 99th percentile yeah. in possession and on the counter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, are Bayern not in there as well? Uh... Oh, maybe, maybe they're a bit maybe, worse. Maybe, 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 yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe they are. Maybe they are. Yeah. But 
PS like we we just have the weapons, man. Like yeah, on the counter. But what do you think though? Like for the bars, I think the biggest question now is, what's the attacking three like? Honestly, the whole eleven has questions. You don't really know like what our best eleven is going into that yeah, game. I agree with that. Honestly, like I think it's one of those where, like, if you, let's say you start with a certain team, fifty-five, fifty minutes in, it's not working. I think Lucho, he's confident enough in himself; he can change it, you know, and he can bring someone off the bench. And I think that yeah. that's where I just like having faith in a manager. You know, it just makes you feel so much more confident. I think we, we know who's going to start, though, if they're fit. Like, I think at least seven of the 11 players, we know who will start. Yeah, it's just, you know. Yeah, it's like. No, but I know like, there's question marks everywhere, dude. There's question marks think, in defense, midfield, and attack. Yeah, all three sections. I, I think, I think the, the question mark is, like, the injury. But I think we know who the center back like, is. Well, okay, what is it? What is it? Is um, Marquinhos healthy? Yeah, it's Mar Marquinhos and um, Lu Lucas. Hernandez or Beraldo? Oh, shit, my bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> Hernandez. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, know. bro. Like, you don't know. Like, <laughs> between those um, three? Yeah, I mean, I think also, um, if you want maybe a bit more defensive solidity, you could go Beraldo left back or Lucas Hernandez left back, however you want. No, but Nuno got to start. Yeah, that's that's true. So yeah, like it's just a dilemma, dude. Like, and then in midfield, what's the best midfield three? I think it'll probably still be Fabian. Oh yeah, and Warren is gonna play right back probably. Oh, you oh Hakimi, Hakimi suspended. Hakimi being out, yeah. Bro, Fabian was bad today. That was really bad. That that reminded me of last year's Fabian, bro. Yeah, he wasn't great today. Yeah, like that was poor. Like everything he did, you know, like whether it's playing a pass or the two shots he had, just awful, awful, man. Honestly. Yeah. But then uh, attack as well, like, you just don't know, like, because you know Dembele and Mbappe will start, but who's going to be that third guy, like? Yeah. Uh, that, that's true. That that's a, big, that's a big question mark, though, as well. What? Oh, uh, what is it? Fucking April? Fucking? What's the video with him? Yeah, yeah, he's no, trying to it's, 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 Yeah, yeah, it's fucking boring. Stop, 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 yeah, stop. My, my <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, what, what, what you said before about the thing. Uh, yeah, PSG is the only team that is in the top. I can't even show it here. Uh, when it comes to counter-attacking possession, which just shows that Paris Saint-Germain is the most complete team in the world. I mean... Uh, Maybe you don't... I, I think we're the best team, but if you don't want to say best, you at least have to agree we're the best. Like, we're good pressing. We're one of the top five best pressing teams in the world. Top five possession team in the world. Top five counter-attacking team in the world. Top five uh, trans-creation teams in the world. Like... We're just so good at everything. And we're also extremely good defensively, which a lot of people don't want to give us prop for for some reason because we conceded four against Newcastle back in uh, September. Yeah. Like we're, we're one of the best defensive teams in the world as well. Yeah. Well, it's not 99, bro. He's making that difference. Nah, he's... He's insane. No, he's the best. He's the best goalkeeper in the world. Like I don't, I don't want to hear anyone else in general. He legit. He might be. He might be. He's playing at a crazy level right now. Just that Leonardo window was insane. And then man, we hyped up Messi Ramos, but it wasn't them who were the game changers. The, the young players we signed, yeah. No, that's a good, like a half half window, half young. Promising, and, and now I'll, and now my priority for the summer is to extend all of them. You, you, you have to extend Donnarumma. You have to extend Hakimi. Yeah. You have to extend Nuno. Like in like a Discord, like something. But when you're a pro player, you're not allowed to do that. And man, the thing is just taking a whole new dimension, man. Vitinha, 
Yeah. Might be a three level. Yeah, Blaze got a ban because you're. He could be a three level midfielder, man. Anything? Like a six, you know, eight. You know, you know, in basketball, there's like a three level score. Yeah. You know. Vitinha, yeah. you might be making that jump to the three level midfield. You can play the six, the eight, the ten. Mm. You know. Where like, Where do you think he's in the best role? Um. He's an eight. He's an eight. An advanced eight. I think his best role is probably as an advanced eight when he's at his best, best. Like a, like Montpellier. Yeah, I agree. But, with you. but um, so do you think? So do you think we we need we need six then? No, but he, we still need him at six because no one else is good enough. No, I mean like like buying a six. Oh, you think? Yeah, yeah. We should get either Gavi or Shaw Nevers. Is um, Gavi a six? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I thought I thought, I thought Gabby's like a attacking yeah, left wing yeah, like, Iniesta kind of midfielder. No, no, no. Yeah, that's like, how Chavez is playing him. Because both have like De Jong, Pedri, especially last yeah. season. They had they have like so they play Busquets as a six, and De Jong and, uh, and Pedri like in the center. Yeah. One as a deeper age, one as a more offensive, and then Gavi as your fourth midfielder. Yeah. Similarly, how we're playing sometimes Kang Ying Lee like and sometimes Dembele. But no, Gavi, oh, wow. Gavi, Gavi can also play a lot of positions. It's just Barca, they destroy careers, DJ. <laughs> like, we're, we're bringing back Dortmund Dembele now. Dembele playing as a 10. Yeah. Oh, bro, you know, one, one thing with that as well, I, I've been watching um, Barca from the 18 19 season, yeah. Um, I, I just find it so funny, like, how similar Dembele at sort of 19, 21 22. He was in that season to the player he is right now, you know. Like it's he's the exact same player four years later. Yeah. It just shows that those four seasons were not, just useless. Really, I want to yeah. He didn't get he didn't get better or anything. And just now we're seeing Dembele finally improving his game by game. He has what 13 assists now for PSG in all competitions. I don't even Something care about the GA. Yeah. I don't care about the GA, bro. It's looking good. Mm. And I even compared uh, DJ his stats to Messi and Neymar last season. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that yesterday. He's pretty much better at everything than them. People that just played very well as like one of their. I'm surprised by that though, because Neymar was great last season. David is gonna have a lot more one tricks. Yeah, I think it's more DJ. You know that we have more possession. We have more attacks. We're okay. quicker. Lucha is a manager. Season supports never won. Right, right, okay. At least the majority, yeah. they always play something. Like before, we had less chances. We were just so more the thin. only position for Neymar in this Lucho system is false nine. He would cook at false like, nine, though. He would. He would. Yeah. Like, all the chances Dembele fucked up. I think name put Neymar in this position, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like I just wish Dembele scored that chance he created. Like, I think that's because, like, on first half, man. that would have been crazy, man. Yeah, yeah, because you basically do the same, you just like have to kite the bit arm. Well, what would you guys have done? Have you guys done real positioning in team fights, and that's really well, we can do ratings. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you were gonna say something, I think. No, I was just going to read the comments. It was just about who I would sign. Um, Wait, what, what's, what's the comment saying? Um, who would you sign? Nico Williams, Bakayoko, Joao Neves, and a backup left back. Do you think we need any more, really? Um, I think you would want to back up right back as well, because Mukiela is going to leave. Uh, I think we should scratch Nico Williams and Bakayoko. I think you, you just go for the you go for the star. Yeah, Leo. I think you get a star and then you get Joao Neves in the back of the left back. So, like Leo or Kabara. So, and uh, no one, I think you should sell. I think you sell. I think you gotta sell Colo though. You would decide Leo or Kabara. Um. If we sign a big guy, step up at PSG. If we're, just, nine, if we're playing with a false nine, if we're playing with a false nine, I want to lay out. If we're playing with a, a straight up center forward, I want Kavara. 
Okay. Why is that? That's what we do. Because if you have a striker, yeah, you have two elite playmakers and Dembele and Kvara for him. That get a lot of goals. But if you don't have one, you, you want someone like Liao, a winger that can get you goals as well. Oh, right. and yeah, aren't, yeah. They're not. They're like solely playmakers. So wait, but like when you say solely playmaker, like no, he can he no, can he no, score no, or is no. he like is he like Dembele? He can't finish. Dembele can score. It's just that he bro, he scored two goals all season. What do you mean he can't? This, this, this is just his this is his worst ever season. Like is he, this is not his normal. Like a, a normal season, he'll give you five six league goals, bro. I mean, bro, that's not good though. Like when when I, when I say is he like Dembele, what I mean is like. Like we've all seen it. Like when Dembele gets the ball in the final third, his brain just switches off, and he can't, he can't, he forgets how to play. So that's what I mean, you know. No, Kavara is not like that. Kavara can score. He scores goals. Kavara scores goals. Okay, okay. It's not about. For me, it's more about the position they are in. DJ, for example, Kavara last season in Serie A had eight point two xg, which is not that high. Right, I get what you, especially for a great Napoli team as well. Yeah, it, it just means that, especially the the ability this season has, I think, four XG. Whatever. It's because they're so far away from goal. Yeah. They're not getting dangerous. Like if we compare that to Saka. Yeah. Saka last season had yeah, like some seven, of the as well. Seventeen goals, something like that. So in the league, he had yeah. fourteen goals. Yeah. He had eleven point two XG. Okay, so he overperformed XG. Yeah. No, what I'm saying is he had 11.2 XG compared to Kvara's 8.2 and now Dembele. Dembele this season has 4 XG. Saka has already 11 XG. Like Dembele is just not receiving dangerous chances to score. Yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. I get what you mean, yeah. Um, but yeah, both Kvara and Dembele are not goal-scoring wingers. Yeah. Like Kvara has scored one goal. Jeez. Three goals, four goals, two goals, twelve goals, ten goals. Wait, what? Mm. So we're never gonna get like Salah. Like, how much do you want from your winger? Like, how much do you want from your winger a season? Because I think, yeah, like I would probably want ten to fifteen goals all competitions from Dembele. I think ideally. I think it, it depends on the role they're playing, though. You know, like not every winger is the same, obviously. I say like 10 to 12. I said 10 to 15. Let me scratch that. I say 10 to 12. 10 to 12. Four. For Dembele, like all competitions in terms of goals. Like, yeah. Like that's how, that's pretty much what you, your winger and your, your average, your, even top wingers like your Frank Ribery's, your Hazards. They weren't scoring 20 goals all competitions every season. They weren't doing but you, you know the funny thing with Dembele is, for, for me personally, I don't even care about the goals. I just wish, like, his decision-making was a little bit better, like, at key key points. So, like, he can he can do, like, the amazing dribble and do all of that, but then he doesn't always have the end product that you want from a player, you know? That's the only frustrating thing about Dembele. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But how many assists does he have now? I think 13, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thirteen. Okay. Yeah. He's just. I think he's. Bro, he loses that's, concentration that's, a lot. That's his issue. Do you think? Yeah. Like especially in some of his passes and <laughs> and he gets caught in two minds. Yeah. A lot. So, like, he doesn't know should I dribble in this moment or should I play make it this moment. So much, <laughs> but then you have the assist today. That's where Dembele doesn't think. Yeah. He just does it immediately. Yeah. But what I like about him though is he's he's unselfish, man. Like, because I remember at the start of the season against Nice, he had Gonzalo Ramos wide open. Remember that game? No, absolutely, absolutely. No, that was Nice. That was Nice. The no, game we lost. That? I think it was the game Terra Mofi went crazy against us. Started the You're talking about the game where then Billy opened up his body and tried to curl it. Yeah, yeah. He had yeah, Ramos was... right next to him. And he... Yeah, he bro. I'm not right thing. What do you think? What? I think do? David will remember the game. David, I know David will remember. No, I know. I'm I'm sure it's Arsenal, Tosin. No, it was Nice. It was Nice. It was Nice at the morning. 
Yeah, yeah, but I remember the chance, yeah. Yeah, like... If that happened now, he would pass it. Yeah, these days, like, he's much more... He's he's not really concerned with the stats part. He's very... He's, yeah, he's selfless. Like, he's playing for the team. In the lands. You guys want to watch Zoom level with me? He probably shouldn't shoot more than once a game at this point. <laughs> like, he shouldn't shoot with his right foot. I don't, I don't know what it is, man. He, he, on, he's on record saying he dribbles good with his left and he shoots better with his right, but... I mean, no, it's your turn. Every time he gets it onto his right foot, like, he, he either scuffs you it or he... Head. You cannot move it. You can move your vision, but it doesn't matter I'm going to take it. You have no move. But I, well, I've seen. I remember just in the beginning of the season, I called Dembélé and Hakimi dumb and dumber. <laughs> but I've seen so much improvement from both of them. And like today's game, what did you feel Dembélé offensively did bad? I just thought he, like you said, he was a bit careless with the ball at times. So he lost it in bad positions. But I thought he played well today, though. Second. Yeah, he was. I would say he was our third best player behind. Team, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Not play yet. Uh, Dembele. Dembele can't have a bad game. It's very hard for Dembele to have a bad game. Just playing. <laughs> mm. Can you hear Um. Because Michaela doesn't see where we play. Plus, it has come out reports that he parties a lot. Lucha <laughs> doesn't like him as a person. <laughs> and, I mean, if he wants to party, he can do that, but not I wonder, how, I wonder how he knows that shit, though. Does he, like, have people spying on him? No, no. I remember that. that's a big thing from previous managers. So, like, when Tuchel came in or when, Lu, um, when Gatia came in in Campos... Yeah. What they do yep. is they they contact the big clubs in Paris <laughs> and and tell us like yo snitch if you see a PSG player here and they're like all right all right low <laughs> their eyes everywhere uh, I think Mukiele has Mukiele just he doesn't play game DJ he becomes depressed he goes he wants to go and drink. And then it's no. just an end of the cycle. He doesn't play, he goes. He doesn't play, he goes. He could have won the game. That, that's kind of funny, though. Like, okay, for, forget the, the party and shit. I don't care about that. But, like, my opinion of Mukiele has always been he's an attack-minded player. You know, I remember mm -hmm. at Leipzig, they turned him into a wing-back. So, I, it's funny to think that, like, Nuno doesn't think he has the technical ability to play his system, you know? I mean, for me, the best example was when we played Sociedad and he came on. And we we had you know such a calmness before, and all of that just went away when he came up. When he came on, right? <laughs> Was it second leg? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't. I, I didn't. I actually didn't watch like the last four minutes of second leg. Nothing. Yeah. Now he it was just a very bad effect when he came on. Okay. Well, did they score from that? Um, I, don't, I think they scored from a set piece, wasn't it? Like yeah, a from like a right side, yeah, they put it into the box. Yeah, it was yeah. something weird. <laughs> no, Nuno is not injured. It's just an April uh, Fool's joke that they're running around with. He's not injured. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lucas Hernandez's wife was in crowd that developed the home and after the Gonzalo Golasso, she filmed the crowd and wrote, can't hear you. <laughs> Man, this everyone is just doing PR work nowadays. Uh, I thought we could look back at the game. Uh in moments, I'll see if I can do this. Oh my god. Average. Right. Fabian.
Okay, so this is just about the Premier League, but it says red cards received in the FA Cup matches can affect players' eligibility for future matches, including those in the Premier League. If player receives a red card in the FA Cup match, they may be suspended for a certain number of future matches, including Premier League matches, depending on the severity of defense and disciplinary action taken by the football association. However, the specific impact of a red card in the FA Cup or Premier League matches will depend on the rules and regulations of the football association governing players. Okay, so we could. Because I think he will. I think he will miss the the game, and then it will be like maybe Marquinhos. I don't, I don't know if maybe Squinio starts that game. No, that no, 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 bro. I'm. I, he he needs to go in the summer, man. He needs to go. Like he, he's just he's he's stiff, you know. Like he, he can't. He, he, he's, 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 I think the commentator said it during the game. He's running in mud. Mm. Uh, we definitely need maybe like Euro or something like that in the summer, but yeah. Yeah, we need defenders that can defend in space. Yeah. There are mobile, these modern defenders. These dino dinosaur defenders don't work anymore in, in what we want to play and so on. Can't take it. Mm. PSG was lucky for that this is a low goal absolutely no absolutely no if Mar look what the red card that we received is 10 times worse than like that for gay <coughs> uh, for gay this is a low goal maybe no I, I, that's a clear offside, though. There's nothing lucky about it. No, it's just like did the defender actually make it harder for Donna? Would you say? Say it again. Do you actually think that the Marseille player there affected him? Yes, def definitely. Because he 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 might not have had you know clear vision of the, mm. the shot. Mm. Yeah. Bye bye, boys. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. I hope Mbappe will renew his contract. It will be cinema. <laughs> no, we can't have that. Which is me, but bro, every little dude they got free kick. No, no, it, it definitely was. They were free. I don't know what was his issue in that game. Uh, DJ, you, you got anything more to say? Uh, no, that's it for me, to be honest. Like, I thought we are going to keep on reacting to some of the clips you had. Um, yeah, I'm just scared of uh, the copyright stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Because right, it's 23 minutes long. It, they're definitely going to copyright it then. Um, but we'll be live on Tuesday, pre-match, and uh, Wednesday, uh, post-match for the cup game, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Are you going to log off now, yeah? Yeah, I think so. All right, no problems. All right, DJ. Uh, you take care, bro. Thank having you on as usual. And you're always welcome, brother, okay? All right, thank you. Thank you. All right. Is the, no, no, April 1st. April 1st, first. Good <laughs> night, Florence. That's been it from your boy, PSG. It was an enjoyable post-match podcast. Um, and yeah, see you guys Tuesday. And see you later. Um, one thing, though. Uh, one, one last thing is that for the 48 viewers that are watching at the moment, um, we have started, uh, I mean, thanks to the editor, Tayo, here in, in the comments. 
we have created a podcast on Spotify. So if you search PSG Int, PSG Int Monthly on Spotify, you can find us and we will be dropping the, the monthly podcast for the month of Mars now. So we can go and check that out if you want. <laughs> That's been it from your boy PSG Int. And as usual, allez, 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 Paris. Oh, yeah.